Let's make this poinsettia garland together. For the center, we start with this strip and put glue along the length of one side and then fold it over and cut fringe along the folded side. Now we're ready to roll it up around a 22 gauge wire that we'll use to wrap around the garland later on. So we put a little bit of glue, make sure that wire is secured and then roll it all the way up, keeping the bottom flat. And for all the petals we'll use for these poinsettias, we put a little bit of glue along the bottom, fold it in half, and then clip it to speed it up, or you can just hold it if you don't have clips. Now this, like I said, is for all the petals, so that's quite a few petals, but this gives us the dimension that we want. Then we cut a straight edge along the inside of that petal, and this is just a little snip uh, off of that rounded curve where we glued, and it gives us a straight edge to put glue along and then attach it securely to the center of the flower. So we're putting three of the smallest petals around the center of this poinsettia and just lining it up with the bottom of the center and spacing them out as evenly as we can, not worrying about it being perfect. And this is the first layer of petals that we put on this poinsettia flower. We'll then add three of the medium sized petals and we'll space these in between the three small. So just evenly kind of space them out, keeping the bottom lined up, like I said before, with the bottom of the center. So it's the same attachment method here of just li lining them up. And we've got six petals on the flower. Now for this back layer this is six large petals and we're attaching these a little differently we're angling them down to where they kind of stick out a little bit and down and back okay so i like to start from the back and then just um put a little bit of glue and stick them right there in between the gap there's six gaps from the petals that we put on the first layer and just nestle them in there kind of bring them back and they provide that last layer of poinsettia petals for the flower so this is grapevine wire and this is a four foot garland with extra length on each side for two loops. Uh, each loop is two inches long so you'll use a total of four inches in length to make a two inch loop and just wrap that grapevine wire around and then use pliers to secure it. Be careful because there is wire in there. Then find the center and attach one poinsettia flower to the center of the garland. Now this is the center. Uh, don't count the loops as your length. Just find the center so it would be at the 24 inch mark and we just wrap that around. This 22 gauge wire is easy to wrap. We use pliers to cut, wire cutters to cut, and then clamp that down onto the wire. We want that wire to kind of be behind the flower so it doesn't show. Then we measure 10 inches from the center and we're going to measure 10 inches between each flower that we add for a total of five flowers. And just continue to do that. Just wrap and cut and clamp it down with the pliers, measure 10 inches again, and that's where our last um, flower on this side goes. So we do that on each side there'll be the center flower and then 10 inches on each side is another flower and then another 10 inches on each side is those flowers that are on the end so there's a total of five flowers on this garland and then at this point we'll be ready to add the leaves once we get all five of those uh, flowers added to the main grapevine wire so this is what it looks like at this point for the leaves we are doing a little bit of glue just like we did the petals laying that wire on top and pinching and holding making sure that the glue is connected to the wire and the leaf and on the other side add another leaf so this uh, wire is four inches long and I'm doing a leaf on each end and I will make um, 10 of these stems, like double-sided leaf stems, because I'm going to put two on each side of the poinsettia garland. So once I'm finished, I just wrap it around and I like to hold one side and wrap the other and then switch if I need to and make the other side shorter. We're just kind of putting it behind the petals of the uh, poinsettia and then angling the leaves out. And there's different ways you can attach these, but this is my favorite way to do it for this style of garland is just kind of wrap behind the poinsettia and then angle them out so they frame each poinsettia with leaves on each side, which makes that red or pink poinsettia, whatever color you're using, really pop and look pretty against that greenery. So we have, this is a set of leaves uh, finished out. We have two stems on each side of the poinsettia and we'll do that for each of the five poinsettias on our gar garland so just hold you can see i'm holding and twisting and then um, just get it to whatever length i want and adjust it if i need to and just keep going so thankfully the wire is easy to twist um, and you can untwist it if you need to don't be afraid to untwist and try again it's really forgiving and sturdy and that's one of the things about felt that's fun to work with so we are finished